My name's Julie Murray and I'm currently a Senior Security Advisor with the Australian Radiation Protection and Nuclear Safety Agency and apart from that I hang out with my family and my beautiful boys and partner and friends and family. My connection to the Matildas is well being a former Matilda and, and a great you know lover of football um, no matter men's or, or women's. Julie Murray is one of the most well-known Matildas, even though she played more than 20 years ago. She was one of the first to go and play in the US. She scored some incredible goals for the Matildas. Um, when people talk about, you know, some of the famous Matildas of bygone eras, then Julie Murray is certainly one of the top names that people refer to. Mazar, Julie Murray. Um is one of the greatest attacking players that Australia has ever produced. I was really lucky that Julie took me under her wing when I moved down to Canberra to the Australian Institute of Sport before the 2000 Olympics. Julie was one of those players, like technically and tactically, she, she was before her time. She was just always so generous and just really helpful with specific information about how to improve. You know, there was still competition within the team. I was the youngster coming through. She was the experienced player, but that, that never transpired into not becoming a friendship, you know, and, we, and we're still so really close friends today. Um, catch up with her whenever I'm in Sydney. But yeah, she's just a legend of the game. She is a, a Matilda's legend. Basically, football was my life. Uh, you know, then all of a sudden there was World Cup opportunities. Um, I got a call up in about, when I was about 15 for the Australian team and, and all my dreams had come true. Um, and then progressing on from that, Julie Murray was a prodigiously talented teenager when she uh, came into the national team. Uh, I remember on her debut in New Zealand, she managed to cop a black eye. In fact, she did a complete cartwheel over the top of the goalkeeper, I think, um, and landed like a sack of potatoes on the <laughs> in the penalty box. But she was a very brave player, very um, skillful. Uh, a midfielder and later a striker. She went on to play overseas and she was most valuable player in the US uh, league in their final uh, back in the early days. And it's great to see that after all these years, it's um, coming to her home soil here in Australia. Well, Julie was um, from the, through the 90s and the early 2000s, you know, probably Australia's best footballer. She was a player in those days when we talk about game changers on the field, she was a game changer. Explosive pace, good dribbling skills, real composure in front of goal, and somebody that was, you know, when you talked about being in the world-class element, she was there. So I think when you look at her service that she gave to the, the Matildas, um, when you look at her performances, and when you look at the quality of player she was, she very much deserves to be an unsung hero. Well, I think in football circles, um, she's definitely not uh, unsung. I think I speak for everyone in my generation, but maybe for the new generations of players, um, you know, probably doesn't have the profile, um, you know, the one particularly that Sam Kerr has. You know, growing up, she was on, you know, my walls on posters. But I think, um, given all the opportunity that Sam Kerr and the likes of the strikers, midfielders have today, um, she'd be someone that you know uh, every household would know about. Julie Murray now coaches her son's under six football team, which I just find remarkable because I'm sure that these small kids are running around completely oblivious to the football royalty that they've got coaching them. Um, but I, to me, that actually sums up a lot of the Matildas. It's that they are very unassuming and then she, they also give back. So I'm sure that she's giving them some fantastic pointers, but she's also got, yeah, a great sense of humour and some perspective about just making sure that they enjoy the game, just ensuring that they, they get the opportunities to play because it's probably front of mind for her that, yeah, those opportunities aren't always a given. Julie Murray is, is one of my heroes. I remember in the 1988 World Cup and Julie Murray was, I don't know, she was still as high as she is these days, but um, we were playing against Norway, I think, and they're all seven foot, you know, and she came on. I, I don't know if it was her debut game, but she came on and I, I remember a ball coming up the field and she virtually out jumped that seven foot Norwegian just to get the ball. It was just amazing. And from then, you know, she just uh, excelled and she had a great career. And in terms of 
unsung heroes and pioneers, she's definitely one of those. Um, yeah, has done some almighty things in the game. Uh, yeah, as I say, my hero.